not the latest version of the ice bucket challenge. It's the mammalian diving reflex. When mammals, such as myself, are plunged into icy water, their bodies start doing everything they can to conserve oxygen. In humans, that means that the heart rate will drop between 10 and 25%. If I do it once, you can see my heart rate drop. It's a cool demonstration, but it's not an experiment. If we wanted to make it an experiment, we would need a whole bunch more people, we would need ethical approval to experiment on those people, we would need data analysis, we would need statistics, we'd need to make graphs. Who wants to do that? I do. I'm Bethany Brookshire, a scientist turned science writer with one of these. I write the Eureka Lab blog for Science News for Students and Society for Science and the Public. I've been designing experiments that anyone can do, from how to make the perfect cookie to designing matchstick rackets. Now, I want to take my blog to the next level. I want to create a video series that will help you science your life. There are loads of awesome videos out there that explain the science of how the world works, and even more that do really awesome demonstrations. But what we're missing is a video series that will take those scientific demonstrations and turn them into real experiments, the ones that give you the tools to figure out how the world works. That's what we want to do with the Eureka Lab video series. We'll take on real life questions that you might stumble on any day, like, how far away can you be infected by a sneeze? How do you make the most delicious cookies? And can you pour out water and get ice out the other end? Society for Science and the Public is a nonprofit organization that informs, educates, and inspires the world about science. We'd like to raise money to make the first few episodes of this video series, along with our friends at Explainer. These guys have made hundreds of science videos that have gotten millions of views on YouTube. They even created this one! Each video will take a demonstration and turn it into a full-blown scientific experiment. On my blog, I'll detail the methods, the data analysis, the statistics I used, and how I graphed it. We'll even include teacher guides that will let you take this experiment to a science classroom or science fair near you. So don't stop at a demo. Let's do an experiment and find out how the world works. We want to science your life.